thanks for joining me on my channel. My name's Gareth. I'm a photographer and filmmaker based here in Sheringham of North Norfolk. Um, and today's video is going to be uh, the first in a series of sort of highlighting the creative people in North Norfolk. Um, and today is going to be Colin Seal. In today's video, he is going to be starting a project for the Mo, painting the uh, fishing boat on the floor of the Mo. Um, so we're now going to go and have a look at the fishing boat that he's going to be painting. <laughs> So this is Colin and he's going to tell us a little bit about what he's done in the past, what he's doing now, um, and I'll leave it over to him. Hi, uh, it's a beautiful day here and it just reminds me where I am now at the age of 75. But I first started uh, sign writing uh, when I was a young man, my father was a sign writer, and uh, I learned about typography. And, but I never wanted to do the same job all the time. So I've done other jobs as well in my life. I've been everything from a bus conductor to uh, a f on the foot, foot plate for a fireman on the steam trains. Uh, when I got married, we lived in Newport Pagnell and from there we emigrated to the United States. I had done murals throughout the United States and I'd learned more from America than they'd learned from me. But what I did do, which no one else was doing at the time, is wrap around buses and we developed a technique uh, about painting on windows so you can see through it from the inside and not from the outside you see a design and basically it's vinyl with holes in it. I work for Disney and I work in Canada and a lot of the United States. Uh, then eventually my wife came wants to come back so we came back and we settled in Sheringham and uh, um, I loved Sheringham since I was a kid, like lots of us, we come on holiday, so I moved here. And um, I had the opportunity of starting painting, start painting murals. One of my first mural is, if you want to turn the camera around, is the one down there along the wall. Okay, and that was one of the first which I had done about oh, 11 years ago now. And it's kind of evolved. Um, I painted many more murals down on, on the seafront. Some are more successful than others. At the moment, I'm painting uh, for the RNLI and uh, I'm doing all the helmsman and coxswain this season and redoing one of the old mules where there's seals and fish. But the most interesting thing is how it's all evolved is now working in the museum. And I've got my own studio there and we're painting things to tell a story. And the story is about social history, paleontology, and the ocean that's so dynamic that we wanted to represent it in, in paint form, in mural form inside the museum. Uh, we're not only painting inside the museum, we are also uh, putting up posts on either side of the frog where people can put their cameras at a set position, take pictures of the cliffs eroding, and then send the photos back by email to the museum so we get a timeline of what that's happening. We're interesting, we really are interested in the dynamics that's going on on this, our coastline. It's so dynamic and it's revealing a hell of a lot and we're learning so much from it. So it's funny how things go. From painting, you get caught up with paleontology, you get caught up with uh, the environment, the sea, the, the erosion and all the excitement that goes on on this coast. I love it. So thank you, Colin, for being part of this video. It's been great to see your process on how you put these great pieces of work together. If you've enjoyed this video, then give it a like below, and I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're new here, then please consider subscribing. It all helps a lot. Um, and as always, I will see you in the next video.